everyone, I just want to say thank you for coming back, and also, I want to apologize if this video is kind of not the best quality, um, and I just want to let you know that I'm going to have Siri to share some scary stories, and if you guys enjoyed, please subscribe and like, and... Let me know what your favorite story that Siri has shared. So let's just get right into it. I just got an iPhone recently, so might as well. Hey Siri, tell me a scary story. Optimizing genre tropes for maximum freakout factor. This story is called It Lives Again. A part here, a part there. Bits and pieces belonging to things long gone to rot in a ditch. But now, these parts would be given new life. Long into the night, the messy work dragged on. Hands, slick and filthy. Electrical wires sparking like cruel lightning. Those long dead, forgotten parts, creeping to life once more. Soon it stirred. Soon it roared. Victor had done it. Oh, how they had laughed at him. They said he was a fool, that he was wasting his time. Now, he would be the one who would laugh. Dawn came. And the thing burst forth, screeching and roaring as its rusty jagged blades cut down everything in its path. The terrible sound woke his family, and as they peered out the windows, they knew it had finally come to pass. Victor had fixed his lawnmower. If you want a scarier story, I've got a few of those too. Say, tell me a really scary story. Hey Siri, tell me a really scary story. This one is called, The Little Creature. It was early in the morning. Adrian woke up to the sound of creaking hinges. Then, three very long fingers reached out and began to open the door, very, very slowly. Adrian watched, petrified with fear. When the door was finally wide open, there it was, short, with waxy grey skin, its huge black teardrop-shaped eyes glistening in the darkness. It stared at him, unfeeling and unblinking. The little creature slowly approached his bed, step by step, as Adrian trembled in terror. Just as he was about to let out the loudest scream of his life, a voice came from downstairs. Pedro, we're gonna miss the school costume parade. Have you woken up your brother yet? Then the little creature finally said something. I'm on it, mum. Then Adrian threw a pillow at him. Okay, so that was second uh, story, and here comes the third. Hey Siri, tell me a really scary story. A dark night in a cage. Tyler woke as he began to scream. A single cold I leered down at him, unfeeling, lidless, a black marble in the dark. He grabbed the bars and cried out as he pulled on them. But the cage was too strong and too tall. He could barely even stand. His legs were so weak. Once more, he shrieked for someone, anyone, to help him. Just then, something large came into the room, its deep voice rumbling, making sounds Tyler didn't understand. It reached into Tyler's cage, and took him, silencing his screams as a terrible stench filled the room. Tyler had awakened his dad on the baby monitor. It was time to change his stinky diaper. Hey, hey Siri. Tell me another scary story. The scrawled word. The pain only got worse as the buzzing steel continued its remorseless work. The woman just lay there, frozen, completely unable to move as her torment dragged on. Finally, she managed to turn her head just enough to see how horribly things had gone for her. Scrawled in red was one word, killer. Oh no, oh no no no, she cried out, but it was too late. Keller, my last name is Keller, can't you spell, she asked the tattoo artist. He froze, wondering if he could fix it by adding a few lines to the eye. Oh my goodness. Hey Siri. Tell me another really scary story. A dark night in a cage. Tyler woke and he began to scream. Uh, uh, a single call. You, you guys already heard that one. Hey Siri. Tell me a scary story. This story is called... It lives, again, a part here, a part there, bits and pieces belonging to things long gone to rot in a ditch. But now, these parts would be given new life. 
Long into the night, the messy work dragged on. Hands, slick and filthy. Yeah, it's just for that. So, I guess Siri's not going to share any other different kind of stories. And I hope you guys enjoyed this um, video. If you guys did, please let me know by liking, subscribing, etc. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye!